Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm doing another terrestrial drive for you. This is the South Fork Chernobyl Ant, just a variation of the Chernobyl Ant, effective part and well worth trying out. You can tie them in various colours to suit yourself. As always, there will be a link to the social media for Flicking Feathers and uh, the Patreon page for anybody who would be interested in supporting the channel and bid to be eligible for. Uh, future giveaways and uh, I'm going to start doing a monthly step by step that's only for the Patreon patrons so got my hook my vice uh, there's a size 8 TMC5263 the nymph hook I like the heavier hook than the the hopper hook that they make um, I think the hopper hook's too light for these big foam flies, um, you know, they often land in their back or land in their side without the heavier hook to kill them. Plus, that splat, I think, uh, can help, and you get that a bit better with a heavier hook. So, I've just coated the shank with thread and touched it with some super glue. Tying a black and red version, but as I say, colours up to you. So, I'm going to get my Two bits of foam and I'm just going to wipe the corners off the end, sort of round it off a bit, but they should both be roughly the same now. Um, first thing is to tie on the red, which is the under underside foam. Leave myself a decent wee tag end there hanging off the back. And then I'll let the black be slightly longer. Just nip that in, just the same. It's moving about a wee bit, so what I like to do is just take a lock and wrap onto the shank, back over the foam, and behind, back over the foam. And that anchors your thread. The foam will still move a bit. And if you really want to, you can come in and hit it with some super glue. Just to help lock everything in place. Although you really don't need to do that. Just touch it, take away any excess. Tie in the sighter on top of this. Trim that away. Then it's time for the rubber legs. These are just red rubber legs, barred black. Take them, fold them over the thread in the midsection. Catch them in on the, your offside first. Same again when you're near side, and that way they're, they're actually in the same number of wraps of thread. Two or three is plenty. You can then sort of take a minute, just adjust them, get them sitting how you want. That's fine. And then I'll take my hackle. Got a black saddle hackle here. It's a white and uh, Hebert Minor, but any any saddle feather will do. Your preferred dry fly saddle. I'm just going to come in, tie that in, all the way back. And then I'll just take my wee hair clip and gather up all the materials and we're ready to dub the body the body's just a uh, red sparkly dubbing um, ice dub angel hair uh, anything like that, spectra flash it doesn't really matter um, I 
whatever you prefer really. Don't be shy, you can get plenty of dubbing on this. Um, it's quite a chunky big bug you're tying. So, start at my dubbing and I'm actually going back first to make sure that I'm right in to the tie in of the foam. And then I'll come forward and start building up, filling up this body. A wee clump there I don't like, just tighten that up. I'll take my thread forward to, I'm nearly at the eye, I've got a couple of mil space, which is plenty. And I'm going to wind my hackle in fairly tight turns. Um, I mean, usually you would say about five turns or, or so of hackle, but I want more on this. Um, upper body length, maybe eight or ten turns. Quite dense. There we go. I get to my thread, just come across my thread, and I turn onto the the hook. Same again, and I turn onto the hook. And then you can fold it back, take anything going forward, just fold it back, trim that away. Take a wee touch more dubbing. touch more, make sure all the hackles out the way, just tidy that up there, and then just bring my foam forward, and I'll tie this foam, or foam down right over right on top of that dubbing that I tied in. This just really helps lock it in. It gives you a, a nice base that you're tying onto. Then you can bring your thread in front and back onto the foam. And you can pull your back over. You can get that nice and tight. Two or three wraps. I'll trim that the red again the red slightly shorter. Snip away the snip away the corners, round it off a wee bit. We're nearly done. Another wee bit of foam for my indicator. Colour choice is up to you, but yellow is no bad. Couple of tons of thread. I like to leave this front one a wee bit longer so it sticks up, so it's actually like a sighter. Um, these wee ones, I know everybody adds some, but I don't know how much they add. This thing's a lot more visible. And then legs. Same again, if you just make sure they're right at the middle when you tie them in, you'll know you need to trim them. Then I'll come in on my side again. Catch them in. One, two, three. That's fine. Whip finish. There you go, that's nice. Trim away the waste. And then 
I like to come in and brush out some of that dubbing. Just just to bring some of the, the flash into the hackle and create a sort of a bit of a, a kind of flashy halo. But there you go. That's it, that's the South Fork Chernobyl. Well worth tying some up. Um, you know, it can be an ant, it can be a termite, it can be a hopper, cicada, whatever. Just a big nasty bug. Tie them any colour you like. Size is 4 to 10. Great for the summer. So, I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines, guys. Bye.